As you can see, I've been a uh, pretty big fan of Echo products for a while. This blower is, I believe, a 1999 model. I've had that for a while. The only thing that I've had to do with it is uh, pretty much the normal uh, stuff you have to do, especially when you contend with the ethanol fuel today. Uh, so I had to replace the fuel lines and the carb kit, and I did that last year. So it was it took 15 years for the uh, fuel lines and fuel filter to really degrade, and I've used it a lot. Uh, last year I picked up a uh, CS590 Timberwolf just to see if I like it. Uh, I have a lot of different chainsaws I like to play around with. <clears throat> uh, I've used uh, I've used this a little bit. I've put a couple gallons of fuel through it. Used it to take down a couple ash trees around here, and it. Uh, Pretty impressive, uh, especially for the value. Uh, magnesium crankcase, uh, pro construction, and a price that's uh, simply, simply not beatable uh, for what you get. Nothing that steel has or uh, Husqvarna has for the price is better than this saw. Period. Uh, if you're looking for a homeowner ranch, they call it a ranch style chainsaw, or, uh, farm boss, as steel calls it. Uh, this is far superior. Uh, build quality is much better. Uh, overall construction is better. It's smooth, uh, powerful, and uh, more importantly, it's, it's at a really good price point. Uh, can't beat it for the price point. Uh, it is heavy for uh, for 60 cc's compared to the top end uh, Husqvarna's or steels, like the 360. Well, this is actually a little closer to the 362 in weight. Uh, the old, uh, older 361 is quite a bit lighter than this. Who's going to 562, which is their top of line 60cc model, uh, is a little, it's quite a bit lighter than this, quite a bit smaller in proportion, but it's, it's also quite a, quite a bit more expensive. You can get this at Home Depot for 400 bucks plus tax. Uh, most of the 562s. And they're around, uh, you know, between six and seven hundred fifty, eight hundred dollars. Same with the uh, steel three sixty two. So this is a bargain. Only thing I'm not crazy about is a laminated bar, but yeah, you, know, you can deal with that later and get a different bar. Today I have something new. Fifty eight volt battery powered chainsaw. Uh, I've cut the. Uh, tape on it already. Uh, I normally don't like doing unboxing videos, I think they're pretty goofy. Uh, but a few people requested that I did, so I will. Uh, here we go. This is the battery. Charger. Looks like it has a pretty serious fan on it to keep it cool. Pretty good uh, power supply, I guess. Instruction manual. I see a lot of people with these stupid unboxing videos take instruction manuals and we don't need that. You know what? You might not. But the vast majority of people I see doing these stupid unboxing videos would benefit greatly from reading the instruction manual. Uh, unless you're out there using a saw regularly or an enthusiast like I am, you probably don't know half of what you think you do. Uh, probably less. <laughs> uh, it's always a good idea to read the instruction videos so you won't run into things like uh, trying to start the saw and the blade or chain uh, won't spin simply because the uh, chain breaks on. Uh, we'll also learning how, that, uh, how the saw should sound if it's a gas saw, making sure it's tuned correctly, accelerates correctly, and of course uh, wearing the proper safety equipment. Wearing uh, safety goggles, yeah, that's a good idea. But wearing gloves, unless they're Kevlar lined, okay, aren't going to do anything to really protect you. It'll protect you from getting scratched, cut from you know, sticks and twigs, but not the saw, not, not the chain. The chain will go through it like it's not even there. Same with the uh, jeans or uh, steel tube boots help. Uh, that'll, that'll help prevent the chain from going through the steel, of course. Uh, but as far as being cut like uh, 
through genes, uh, the genes might not even be, might as well not even be there. Uh, what you need is checks. In my, in my opinion, that's one of the more important things. Pair of sa uh, safety checks. Uh, it has Kevlar strands in it that get cut up in the uh, chainsaw chain and jam the, uh, the clutch drum. Uh, and it stops the chain moving uh, pretty darn quick. I'm not sure if it would stop, say, a Husqvarna 395 or a 084 like I have up there, but uh, it's better than nothing. Uh, jeans are nothing. Now let's get back to what we're doing. Kind of went off on a little bit of a rant there. Now, hold on a second. Let's see if we can. Yeah, I don't know. that might be a little hard to get out. There he is. Yeah, take a cut here and open up the box. Batteries. All right, getting back to it. Doubt if it has any charge. And I'll add on to the end of this video tomorrow when it's uh, daylight. And uh, I'll do some cutting with it. I've uh, seen online where they did some reviews of the Echo battery itself. And from what I saw on the Echo, uh, sorry, Eco. <laughs> it's easy to confuse uh, Echo and Eco. The Eco battery does look uh, like it's designed uh, superior to the Echo. Uh, battery. It, it looks to be somewhat weather sealed. It has some uh, uh, some chemicals and so forth to help dissipate heat. Some cooling uh, vents on it, and it seems to do better with heat. But uh, uh, someone I knew on uh, one of the Arbor site uh, people said uh, the Echo is much more powerful than the Ego uh, 50. What is it? The 56 volt. Uh, I also saw that they uh, compared the voltage of the batteries between the 56 and the 58. There was no difference, uh, essentially. There was no difference. This really isn't 58, it's really around 56. Kind of push the numbers a little higher just to make it uh, sound better. But nevertheless, uh, from what I've read and what I've been told by fairly, fairly reliable people, I believe, uh, is this has a lot more power. It does seem to be a little heavier than the Ego. I may actually go ahead and pick an Eagle up just to compare it to this model, side by side. We'll see. Uh, anyway, let's go back in. Let's see if it has any charge first. I doubt if it will. It does not. Yeah, no, it's, it's showing half full. It's a little tighter than I thought it would. I wasn't uh, really too impressed with how they boxed this. The battery is sitting right on top like this, and there is no bubble wrap or anything in between the battery and the top of this cardboard box. It uh, almost looks like it was pushed down on a little bit. Chain brakes on, shouldn't work. Alright, right, I'll have to go ahead and put some uh, more oil on it before I uh, really run it anymore. And it's already fairly early, so it's, I'm sure it's fine. And tomorrow I'll find out how it works. Uh, been a few people that said these have uh, some glitches as far as running and they've had to pull the battery and put it back in to reset it. I'm going to see if that's true. Uh, 
you know, my hunch is, you know, I have my own theories. Is what's happening is the person that uh, had this happen, uh, this chainsaw car, and my guess is if you blip the throttle a lot, maybe be, uh, be confusing the little processor on the battery or in the saw, and uh, you have to reset it before you can use it again. And that would kind of make sense to me. It shouldn't happen, but that would be... Uh, that would make sense to me and that's my little theory on it. So tomorrow we'll run it and uh, the magic of video editing will be right now. Just thought I'd add a little bit here. Uh, I'll show you how, what I use to fill the bar oil uh, tank up. Uh, I buy these little fittings that you can buy at the auto parts store. Uh, the little uh, connectors and uh, fill tubes for uh, differential oil cases. They usually come with a little plastic tube. You can pick them up for, sometimes you can find them on sale for a few, you know, 75 cents or something. Usually they're a buck or two. And it really uh, makes filling the uh, bar oil reservoir up uh, nice and easy. Okay, I have a piece of mostly dry ash here. It's a little damp on the backside, sitting on the ground for a little while. Uh, we're going to try out the new Echo 58-volt uh, uh, brushless battery-powered chainsaw. We're going to go ahead and compare this 58-volt uh, Echo battery-powered chainsaw against this Dolmar 421. It, uh, it has a muffler mod. It does make, a, I guess, a little extra power out of, uh, than the ones uh, do out of the box. But uh, no porting or anything like that. Just a regular chain that came with it. And uh, we'll see how these two kind of compare. This is kind of what I uh, think Echo's market really is around, uh, you know, 45 cc's or so. All right, well, let's see how this little guy cuts. Pretty impressive, actually. cut out on me because it was overloaded or what but I have heard these batteries have uh, given some people issue uh, a few guys said they're cutting out and they had to pull the battery to get it to run again I want to cut out before that definitely was an overload because that's what I tried to do there cuts really good. I would say it's very, probably pretty darn close to the 421. Let's give that a try here. We don't have a whole lot of wood uh, left to make uh, many cuts, but we got uh, one, maybe two cuts left on that. That's how a uh, properly tuned saw should start, by the way. Might be a little rich. Last time I ran it, it was uh, 20 degrees outside.
is definitely acting funny. This is a piece of crap. I think I have to let it sit for a second, let it reset. Processor is probably getting confused. That's my understanding of how that usually works. Power just dove right there for no apparent reason. I'll tell you this, that is about the flimsiest bar I've ever seen, by the way. seconds here. Let's try the uh, gas one again and see how that runs. Obviously this isn't a direct comparison in power. Uh, gas oil is definitely uh, quicker. And like I said, I really don't understand when people complain about the uh, chainsaw being hard to start. It shouldn't be. If it is, there's something wrong with it or you don't know how to start a chainsaw. Uh, that's all there is to it. <laughs> uh, let's give this another shot here. See if it dies right away or not. It seemed to do that after I let it sit. Sit. I'm not sure if it's a piece of crap or not. Let's let's uh let's attempt something here. Let's let me uh chains loose. Uh, I'll go ahead and not let it fully uh, wind up and see if maybe that's part of the problem. Well, see him keep going. It doesn't seem to have overload protection, which it should. You get loose power as I'm cutting. Not just because the wood's getting bigger, it actually seems like it starts to... The, the power seems to kind of fluctuate. Okay. Alright. 
Well, like was uh, reported on the Arbor site by a certain individual, he is absolutely correct as far as I'm concerned. I've hardly used this saw and it's cut out uh, a couple times now. Uh, these have issues. This is the third one now. He had two. He took his first back. That was only, that was nothing cutting. I mean, the battery's still fully charged. No, it's not. It's halfway charged. That's all I cut and it's halfway charged. Don't buy a battery powered chainsaw. They're useless. Uh, I don't know how good the Eagle will do. I don't know how long it'll last. I may actually just go ahead, return this and see how it compares. Maybe I have a little bit to cut here on what's left. And uh, by the way, I'm sweating. It's really humid out. This definitely, these Echoes definitely have uh, issues. Uh, if anyone from Echo sees this, uh, at this point, you know, it's only three saws, I understand that. But the electronics on this uh, were not thought out correctly, from what I can tell initially here. That the processor that they use is getting confused. Uh, and it should be overload protected, and it's not. I would not buy this uh, Echo saw. I'm going to take it back. Well, as you can see, I no longer have the Echo 58 volt battery powered chainsaw. When it ran correctly, it uh, it had plenty of power for a battery powered chainsaw. Uh, at least, you know, I don't really have anything to compare it to. Uh, I decided against getting the Ego 56 volt chainsaw uh, simply because I heard it had quite a bit less power than the Echo and to be completely honest I do not want anything less powerful than the Echo. At this point I do not see myself buying any of the other battery powered chainsaws particularly from the uh, big box stores. I uh, hear the Oregon is well built, uh, a lot of metal construction to it but uh, for my use I, I don't see it being viable. Uh, this is a Domar 421. It's, I think it's 42 cc's. Yeah, 42 cc's. It's more powerful than the Echo 58 volt. And uh, it's actually smoother. And it's, it's also lighter. And this is considered one of the heavier 42 cc saws uh, because it is or should I say it does have a, mag a vertically split magnesium crankcase like any other professional saw. Uh, so it does have a little more weight to it. It has a bit of a spring assist, makes it very easy starting. And the quality is uh, off the chart for the, for the value. Uh, I think at the time I purchased this it was something like $330. Uh, the Echo 58 volt is 300 plus tax. So to me, it's a no-brainer. Uh, I would suggest buying a gas chainsaw instead of any of the electric models at this time, uh, particularly for cutting firewood or anything you know more than just a branch in your yard here or there. Uh, in that application, I'm sure it'd be fine, but for anything more than that, uh, well, some of the arborists like the Husqvarna models. Uh, if you have to, you know, run, run a saw in an area where, you know, it might be noise sensitive, urban area, uh, okay, I, I guess I can see maybe getting one of the little Egos or Oregon, but uh, to me it's just not, not practical yet. In a few years I'm sure it will be. Uh, getting back to the Echo 58 volt, I cannot recommend buying it at all. I would advise against it at this point. Uh, it has electrical glitches. There's no question in my mind about that. I'm on the Arborist site and several other forms like chainsaw repair and so forth. Uh, on the Arborist site, one individual has purchased several of them. They've all done the same thing. So this is not just a one-off uh, defective product. It's the whole line. 
they have problems. And I'm not trying to down Echo. I am a huge fan of their products in general. Their gas powered products are, in my opinion, as good as anything, simple design, well built, well priced. Uh, one thing to note, Echo is really not building those, uh, manufacturing those electric chainsaws. The same company that makes the Ryobi 40 volt and other Ryobi products, and I believe also uh, Milwaukee Power Tools and a few others, is manufacturing that product for Echo with, uh, you know, with the uh, use of their name on the product. But it's actually not a product made by Echo. I would not, again, recommend anything they make with a battery. Everything else, awesome products, easy starting, well built. Uh, this year is four hundred dollar. Well, with tax four hundred and forty or so dollars, depending on where you are. Uh, the Echo fifty eight volt isn't that much lighter than this saw. Uh, spend the extra hundred bucks and buy a real chainsaw if it doesn't work right. Either you don't know how to start it, or there's something wrong with the tool. People always say the complexity of mixing oil. Oh, it's hard to start a chainsaw. That's not so. It's easy as could be to mix fuel. If you're really that bad at uh, understanding how to mix fuel, getting ratios right, if you don't want to buy the little pre-mixed, uh, or not pre-mixed, the little des uh, graduated bottles, you know, uh, one bottle per gallon of uh, fuel, uh, this here is a ratio right measuring cup. It has all the ratios marked out for one gallon, one and a half, two, two and a half gallons. Uh, I mix most of my chainsaws at 32 to 1. Uh, 32 parts fuel, one part oil. That's four ounces of oil per gallon. Uh, some people prefer, prefer 40 to 1, that's fine too. I generally recommend mixing more than 50 to 1. Uh, I've seen no negative. Mix some more oil, as long as you get your tune correct. Uh, that's about it. I'll wrap it up here. Uh, right now, I would not buy a uh, battery powered chainsaw for anything more than a few branches at your house, and I would definitely not buy the Echo 58 volt right now. It has problems. It was, it is poorly designed, in my opinion.